Good day, everyone. It's meteorologist Greg Majeski here on the Weather Nerds YouTube page, giving you an update here on the tropics as we're taking a look at Philippe, which is continuing to move up toward the north. And what's interesting about this storm is how it's going to merge into one big windstorm across the southeastern portion of Canada, and it's going to have a big impact on the northeast. There you can see the current track, which is taking it up into Maine as we head into Sunday. And then when it goes when it goes past there, it's going to merge with that cold front that's coming in across the eastern third of the United States. Going to cause a lot of problems. Looking at the satellite imagery right now, you can see where the storm is currently uh, getting spun around right now. As I go in here and kind of do a little drawing here for you, so you can see the center of circulation sitting right down in here. And this storm is going to continue to move up toward the north and uh, eventually just kind of make a left turn into Canada as this cold front, which is sitting back here, is going to be moving in and kind of clear everything out. But it's going to really get spun up uh, very quickly uh, heading into early next week. And it's going to kind of get cut off. And what that's going to mean for the eastern third of the United States, it's going to send a couple of waves of cool air down across the eastern third of the United States. Let's go ahead and kick this into interactive mode here, and I'll step you through this forecast. Watch the storm system off the eastern seaboard as it comes up toward the north and it gets make closer to landfall. It uh, may even make back to hurricane status or an extra tropical feature at this point. I think it's going to be kind of a, a hybrid system. And the pressure drops off to 977 millibars. I mean, we're talking about a Category 2 hurricane-type presence inland as this big low is going to get wrapped up here. And, yeah, look at all the snow breaking out here uh, to the southern part of the circulation. 977 millibars and snow into southern Canada, quite windy across the northeast. And that's it'll keep temperatures below average here for the northeast. So we're going to see... Uh, something you don't see very often, you're going to see two storm systems, an upper level feature, cold front, as well as this tropical system all merge into this big wind machine up across the northeast and definitely going to have an impact uh, on the weather for the northeast coming into early next week. Uh, that's a look at your forecast. You guys take it easy. See you on the next update. Bye.